Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasong. In this video, I will teach you how to use array adapter in Fragment in Android. As you know, array adapter is a part of array list or maybe like auto compute text box. And in this video, I will take the example how to create a array list and then use the array adapter to attach that and display in the Fragment. Okay, let's go to Android. Okay, let's create a new project. This is called Array Adapter Fragment. Next. And then I choose version 4 because version 4 is fine for that. And I use uh, basic activity because you have a lot of features in there. And next. Okay, this is the new project. And we want to put the fragment in here. So we need the ID for the layout otherwise we cannot put the fragment but remember the fragment cannot go into the constraint layout if you are using the same version as me now I use uh, 2.3.1 uh, Android Studio support uh, constraint layout which is a very cool feature but uh, constraint layout cannot hold any fragment so there are two solutions for that first you can uh, change to another um, layout or maybe you can put another layout inside the constraint layout usually I don't change that I just put another layout in uh, inside that so let me delete the text here so just go to layout here and you can choose relative or linear is fine and just drag like this okay and if you want to change the padding you can go to constraint and layout and so, and because constraint layout needs the constraint so click on relative layout the uh, inner one and then click on this button the infer constraint and if you want to learn more about constraint layout maybe you can check out more uh, some other videos in my channel okay uh, Om Saga's whole channel now I need the ID for the relative layout and I just call it main layout this is where all the fragment will go into okay and you can size it maybe like half of that it doesn't matter now just um, you know just my example I will use the full one and to create the fragment right click and then choose fragment here fragment blank and we don't need this to just delete it and now I will call maybe just sample fragment okay before we go on to put the list view and array adapter i want to make sure that it works well now it uh, display it correctly so i go to fragment sample here there's some error just click refresh and uh, now i want to put some sample and maybe i want to see does it work or not usually i put the date and time here Okay, I delete the text here. Just example. And that's fine now. And then you can go to main activity here. Okay. So you can call the fragment anywhere you want. But now we don't have any button to call. Maybe just uh, open the activity, then we'll load the uh, fragment. So just call the fragment over here. So what you have to do is call the, the sample fragment that we just created. Um, sample fragment, new sample fragment. And then call fragment manager. And call it manager. Get support fragment manager. I use support fragment manager because I want to support the older version. But if you want to use like me, you have to make sure in the support fragment, you import this uh, library the android.support.v4 okay otherwise you cannot use the support now you can continue manager uh, begin transaction replace okay here you want to replace so we create the layout for that main layout here so all.id main layout oops main layout and simple fragment and commit okay now you can open the 
fragment inside the activity. Okay, now you can see the fragment. And actually, you can put two or three fragments in the same activity. Usually, uh, the reason that you want to use a fragment is something like this. You want to have like at the left, maybe you have an array list, array adapter, and uh, right you have the detail, right? So let, let's do it like that. But it's just a very basic, so I will not um, go into deeper. So let's go to fragment sample here and delete this one. And the default layout here in fragment is frame layout. So I want to convert to uh, constraint layout, right click and click on uh, convert. OK. OK. Now you have the constraint layout here. Then uh, I want to use the leaf view. OK. So all and where is leaf view? Okay, here is the list view. And again, I have to click on the infer constraint here to make the constraint and give the name. And I will call LV list view and just call data. Okay, now you can go to sample fragment here. And now it's time to create an array adapter. Okay, so array adapter. Yeah, and you want to hold the data here, but we don't have any custom uh, array adapter yet. So I want to use like a default uh, array adapter. So let's display the data with a string data type and I call adapter new array adapter here. And the first parameter will be the context. So in activity, you can call this, but inside fragment you cannot but you still can use it the get context here the first parameter so the second one is the layout and now we still use the default data default uh, layout so we should start uh, with the android library layout so start by android.all.layout.simple uh, list item one so remember that if anything start with Android, it is the uh, default data from the library. It's a built-in uh, layout in the library. Okay, and let me enter here. And the third parameter is the uh, array list. Okay, or maybe just a simple array. But usually I use array list. So call it string. Now this is the data. And you can add any data here. So the data type is string. So let me just give some example. Okay, just some name of the operating system. Android iOS Mac OS X. Okay, and the third one is just data okay that is how you create the array adapter and lastly you have to create the list view okay and we created LV data and have to cast it LV like that and find you but we don't have any find you by ID in the fragment to to have the find you by ID you have to uh, the, get the inflate here so cut it and then you create a variable view and do like this and then you can return you instead of the uh, you know the raw data yeah and then you can call view dot uh, find you by ID okay so it is a trick that you can use find you by ID okay that is very simple just call like this and return now you can have a nice find you by ID and just call LV data now and then set adapter yes and adapter okay and then I want to change the 
lay out a little bit so maybe rotate okay and here okay let's click on here okay here okay so maybe just 200 dp okay now you have this and then so i want to move it to the left here so let me delete the right constraint okay now it is in the left and you can add another um, fragment here if you want to but I don't want to do that now because it will take more time and it is just a basic um, you know uh, tutorial maybe I will do that in another tutorial so let's just run it and let me rotate it now yeah it is rotated okay so this is the list view okay now you should have the scroll view but the data is um, you know only four maybe i want to add a little bit more to the same for a fragment here just add some more okay right again okay see that now you have a nice list view here on the left side so that's it for this video thank you for watching if you think this video is very useful please share it to your friend don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.